attempt for New York is good, and we're all tied at 20. What a big run from Park Yee Chol. And another momentum swing at the end of a quarter for New York. What a ball game. This has been a pretty entertaining contest between two teams whose backs are against the wall a little bit, particularly the New York Knights. There's a penalty flag. So before we head to commercial break, let's check that. That's likely on the Renegades, and they'll start deep in their own territory. Holding, number 71. They'll start back at their 19 when the third quarter resumes. End of three, we're all square at 20. This is Night Radio, 1000 KDUB. We'll be back to Metro Stadium after this. The NRA is a dedicated group of over 4 million Americans working to protect your Second Amendment rights. And the NRA store is your official source for NRA gear. You'll find range bags, hats, clothing, home and office decor, tactical and shooting gear, gun cases, books, and much, much more. And 100% of NRA store profits go directly to support vital NRA programs. Visit nrastore.com or call for a free catalog. for searching. Nessie doesn't want to be found. But I've got the new Garmin combo with the clearest scanning sonar images on the water. I can see Nessie's home and all the wee fish in crisp detail. I mean, look at it. Look. It's, it's hard. Oh, 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 oh. You are real. You don't exist. The fifth quarter. 60 minutes after the game, when you finish the competition for good. Take in protein, start rebuilding muscle, and stay in the game. He's in the fifth quarter. Are you? Protein to rebuild muscle, Gatorade Recover, part of the G-Series. When you came into this world, you tumbled in head first. All arms and legs looking everywhere, moving everywhere. You went where your eyes and ears took you. And little by little, you became you. You found tools to satisfy your curiosity because you wanted to see more and do more. And there was something to be found in everything. And little by little, it changed. People told you things, where to go, what to do, what not to do. Little by little, the world started to feel smaller. Only, it isn't. You're still here, and you're still you. The horizons haven't gone anywhere, and the tools you need are right here. So you can throw yourself at the world head first, again. Introducing the all new Jeep Cherokee. Football on 1000 KDUB is brought to you by the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund, by Oakley, by Rockstar Energy Drink, and by the Southern Tier Brewing Company, the official brew of Metro Stadium. These two owners, very similar. They met in the first. SFL Championship game, New York winning the greatest game in league history. I still believe it does stand, 45-41, to 41, a wild one from the Dome in Orlando, Florida. First down and 10, both like beer and guns and both like running the football as Pete Bruschi picks up a first down up to the 29-yard line.
fun fact about this rivalry, no team has ever won at home in the regular season. The road team has won all three times. Let's take a look at the stats after the end of the third quarter. 272 to 255 in total yards. This game is very balanced and very close as Pete Bruschi takes another handoff, a three-yard gain. So he starts the quarter with a couple of carries. The Renegades started the third quarter with a couple of passes. Second and seven. More stats. Six of ten on third down. 4-0 KC. New York not too shabby. Renegades have moved the chains a lot more, however, 16 times. Now 17 times. Brewski on the handoff. Another three-yard gain will set up a third and short for Oklahoma City. Third down and four at the 34. They need the, well, they need really the 39-yard line, so it's about a third down and five. And Redfeather's going to drop three steps, going to go down the field, and he overshot Chris Taylor. That's the second time in two possessions that Redfeather has misfired to a receiver, and it is going to bring up fourth down. First time either one of these teams did not score on a possession here in the second half. And a huge stop for the ninth defense. Seen a lot of punts out of either team. New York can't get to it. Back to return from their 25, and it's up to the 26-yard line. First and 10. Next home game for the New York Knights. You're not going to want to miss it. Sunday, March 30th, or I'm sorry, Monday, March 30th, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern, in prime time, the home finale for Metro Stadium. The undefeated Minneapolis Maulers come to town, and New York would love them to still be undefeated so that they can knock them off and end their perfect season March 30th. Get your tickets at the Metro Stadium box offices or online at nyknights.com as that pass is caught by, I believe, Legacy again. That is correct, a seven-yard gain. A much more balanced passing attack for St. Clair and the Knights today. They still have not been as lethal as they've been in the past, but a better performance overall after that first quarter where St. Clair threw two interceptions. Second down and three from the 33. Three receivers, two backs in the backfield, and St. Clair will drop the throw. Pressure from his backside. That pass caught to a wide open receiver up to the 46 yard line for a night first down. Jake Legacy, another big catch. Ten and a half remaining. We're square at 20. St. Clair will drop the throw. Swing it out to Heath Joel. Got to pick up a block. He got one. He could not get a second one as Billy Joe Casper comes up to make the tackle. Quiet game for Billy Joe Casper. That's really the first time we've mentioned his name as New York just has not tested him. Brings up second down and six after the four-yard reception under ten minutes to go. High formation toss play out to Heath Joel. Picks up one block and can't pick up another. Matt on the outside, Adam Stackhouse, no gain. Third and six, square on the 50. 23 degrees and cloudy, although the temperature is dropping as the snow comes to town once again at roughly about 7.15, so about an hour and 10 minutes after we're done here. Trips St. Clair, swing out that way, first down to the 42, a big third down conversion, another catch for Jake Legacy, who easily should have more catches in this game than he had in the previous three. Legacy coming in 
10 catches, 5 catches, 6 catches. And hasn't scored a touchdown since week one. He does not have a touchdown tonight. But he is playing better. Offside OKC. Free play. And off the heat, Joel, and they will gladly take that penalty. Second, actually third penalty of the day on OKC. New York has two. Neutral zone infraction. Number 93, defense. It's a first down and five from the OKC 37. New York, another solid drive. High formation. Both teams have all three timeouts. And St. Clair will drop the throw. St. Clair steps up the pocket. Nearly took off and ran with it. But found open receiver. 10 5 touchdown. New York, they take the First time today! Oh man, West St. Clair fooled everybody. They thought he was going to step up and run. Billy Joe Casper just didn't know where he was on the field. And the Knights have scored two straight touchdowns. 14 unanswered points to take a 26 to 20 advantage. Man, this team finally woke up. What a throw from West St. Clair. First touchdown pass by either quarterback in this game. The extra point is good. And it's New York 27, OKC 20. Oklahoma City's defense, which used to be one of the best in the league, just continuing to let them down this season. The offense putting up about 30 points per game. They're a little short of that at the moment, but the OKC defense continuing to struggle. West St. Clair stepped up in that pocket, and I think it might have froze some people. It froze me. I thought he was going to take off. But plenty of time left here, 8.23 to go in the fourth. It's a first down and 10 from the OKC 32-yard line. And Redfeather will start out of the shotgun with three wide receivers. And Brewski to his left. And Redfeather will drop to throw, back to pass. Brewski going the wrong way, lost five. Pete Carroll comes up to make the stop. Pete Carroll knows how to make a team go backwards as New York puts Oklahoma City in a difficult predicament. This game turned on its head when Oklahoma City was up 10-0. They looked completely dominant as New York came out in this game flat. I mean, big time flat. Brewski takes the handoff, only a one-yard gain. Since that time, something turned for the Knights as DJ McCoo gets the stop. Third down and 14. The longest third down attempt of the day for Oklahoma City. Two backs and two receivers. A 4-3 look. They rush just four. Red Feather down the field. Got the first down. Chris Taylor with the catch. How can you let him convert a third and long? Man, Chris Taylor. A crisscross route and Bobby Law just kind of lost his man. What a dart from Joseph Redfeather keeps the drive alive. High formation with two receivers, a 4-3 set. The handoff goes to Bruski, who again had to hurdle over a defender or an offensive lineman, I should say, in the backfield because 
He got flattened, D.J. McCoo on the tackle. Brewski still over four yards a carry. Second and eight, and the clock ticks down to six minutes and 30 seconds to go in this ball game. Again, the second game of our doubleheader is coming up next as the Minneapolis Maulers, the undefeated Maulers, host the Orlando Intimidators from Minnesota. Second down, eight, handoff on a counter. Pete Brewski stopped to the backfield, a three-yard loss. Third and 11. And all of a sudden, Pete Bruski is not finding any lanes to run through, and the Renegades are getting put in third and long situations. They'll approach it with two in the backfield and two receivers to the left-hand side, the far left-hand side, at the top of your screen with under six to play. 27-20 New York, Redfeather to throw, Redfeather's pass caught, but well short of the sticks. A five-yard completion to Bovine, but it's fourth down. And the Knights have a chance to put this game away on the next possession. New York has just finally found their rhythm. Punt is away. I can't remember the, net lo the last time the Knights punted as New York gets up to the 18-yard line. New York's got two turnovers. They've scored on five possessions. That's seven possessions. I know they pinned Oklahoma City deep in the first quarter, but... It has been a while. First down and 10 at the 18-yard line. 4-3 look with an outside linebacker showing blitz as the defensive line shifts. Oklahoma City will rush just four. St. Clair, no, they rush five on a blitz late pass caught. As the blitz gets picked up, Legacy now six grabs on 10 targets. So not as active as the season opener, but certainly has made a bigger difference. That clock is moving, and the Knights want to keep it moving all the way down to zero. Second and six at the 22. They're up by seven. And St. Clair will drop back three steps. He has a pocket. He fires it short. Boy, that was well defended as... Oklahoma City adjusted that pass from St. Clair. He was looking for Chambers. And in order not to throw an interception, he kind of had to throw it behind Nathan, and it ended up going for no gain. So more good defense by Lane on the outside. Third down and six. 4-2-5 defense. St. Clair out of the shotgun. He chilled to his right. St. Clair back to pass. St. Clair looking down the right hand side of the field. Caught! One hand! First down, Knights! Brock Studwell! A beautiful grab! Keeps the clock moving. Check out this catch. Over the wrong shoulder. He turns, finds the ball, and just gets a mid on it. One heck of a grab by Brock Studwell. Parkey Chole, three yards away from a 100-yard day. 19 carries, 97 yards. And he'll get his 20th here as he picks up two. So 99 yards now for Parkey Chole. He's had over 100 yards in every game this season. 106, 148, and 127. Under four to play. Everybody up in the box for Oklahoma City. Nine to be in fact. St. Clair will throw out to He Cho and great pursuit by Adam Stackhouse. And He Cho can't believe he got hit that quickly. A three yard loss brings up third and 11. That's just Adam Stackhouse. He watched some film. He knew what was coming there. Third down and 11 from the New York 38. Time ticking away. 3.19 to go in the fourth. Maybe looking Studwell's way right here. The old reliable Jake Legacy. 
There's six on the play clock. New York is bleeding it all the way down to three before they snap it. St. Clair third and 11. Floater caught! First down of the running at 42 by Studwell. How big is this guy? Been in the second half. He's just been too good, and that's what gold stars are made of. Just in between two defenders, making plays. And now Oklahoma City is really in trouble. They're going to have to start using some timeouts. It'll probably be, it'll be second down when we hit the two-minute warning unless the Knights can move the chains again. This has been an outstanding performance by New York in this fourth quarter. They have taken over. And St. Clair will throw, going for the jugular. Check down to E. Chole, and that is far from the jugular. Stackhouse makes the tackle, a three-yard loss. St. Clair is up to 261 yards passing. And that's going to take us down to the two-minute warning. The Renegades are going to have to start burning timeouts. It's second and 13 outside of field goal range. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification along the night radio network. You're listening to the home of champions. This is Night Radio, 1000 KDUB, the extra point. Overtime Radio. Got my wires crossed there. Second and 13 at the Renegade 45. One receiver, I would be shocked if they don't run it. They're going to throw it. St. Clair pump fake, swings it outside. Pass caught, but he went out of bounds. The officials ruled Chambers fell out of bounds. And that saves OKC a timeout. What a costly mistake by Nathan Chambers. And if you're St. Clair, you just don't throw that pass. Third down and nine, still all three timeouts for OKC. New York is at a field goal range. As St. Clair drops to throw, St. Clair pump fake down the field, got him again! Stuckwell to 19! And that might be your ball game! Have you ever seen a guy who was just so ineffective in the first half just take over a second half? Billy Joe Casper has had a bad day. And the New York Knights look like they are going to get their first victory of the season. Thanks to Brock Studwell getting open time and time again in the fourth quarter. Another great close game here on the SFL Network. They hand it off to Heat Scholl. He lost. Actually, they mark him back at the original line of scrimmage. Second and 10 of the 19 yard line, but a made field goal here will give the Knights a two possession lead. And they will be able to run at least 40 seconds off this clock. It would take a miracle for the Renegades to come back here unless they can force some sort of turnover. One timeout left. St. Clair's going to throw it out to Heath Scholl. Don't go out of bounds. There's a flag. Heath Scholl gets thrown backwards quite dangerously. Casper kind of looks to see if he's okay. And let's get this call. It could push him out of field goal range. Holding number 76. Up in. Oklahoma City had no choice but to accept that penalty. It's still second down, but it makes it a 46-yard field goal, a much more difficult field goal, and a much more difficult down and distance because it's a night penalty. The clock stops, so it's second and 20 now from the 29-yard line. Penalties have hurt both teams at times today. Crown Channing go Knights, the handoff gets to Heat Scholl, and Heat Scholl's got a block! Heat Scholl, 15-10, and he got the first down! Ball game! I don't know who that was that over-pursued. 
Oh, that was a defensive lineman. A defensive end just did not seal off the inside. And that's all she wrote, folks. The Renegades fall to one and three. The Knights improve to one and three. On a second and 20 conversion from Park Hee Chul. Fourth straight game over 100 yards rushing. And the victory formation for New York. So that will muck up the standings at the bottom of the league. The two down low at one and three, but Cleveland is one and two as well. Along with Orlando who plays next. Victory formation again. Now it's third down and goal from the 10. They will have to snap it one more time, but will not have to snap it on fourth down. So the Renegades lose back-to-back -back games by, by a touchdown since getting blown out against Minneapolis and that opening game win against San Francisco seems like a long way away and right. San Francisco seems like a much improved team at 2-1 and one atop the standings or close to the top of the standings in third place. San Francisco and Honolulu 2-1. Two and one teams had a bye this week as St. Clair takes the final knee of this contest. The Knights win it 27 to 20, the fourth straight SFL game decided by a touchdown or less. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe have the post game. And then we will cut off the air to make sure that we get our 7 p.m. game. Uh, going on time. The Knights win 27-20. This has been a presentation of Knight Radio. And that is going to do it for this one. The Knights come out on top 27-20. With that, let's look back at some of the plays that made the difference in this one. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Moore is going to get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground, and he makes the most of this one. A 35-yard touchdown for the visitors. After driving 45 yards on nine plays, Conway would be called upon for the field goal try and he'd come through. The Knights connect on their second field goal. Midway through the third, the Renegades winning by four. Number 12 went up top on a third down play and he was able to find his man. The Knights end of the third quarter. Number 33 got the call on third down and it paid off. A 49 yard touchdown for the home team. Game tied, 20 all. Gibbs had to work to find an opening but he was able to haul this one in. A 37 yard touchdown for the home team. Midway through the fourth, number 12 went up top on the third down play and he was able to find his man. Unfortunately, the drive stopped shortly afterwards and they had to punt it away. Late into the fourth quarter, the Knights leading by seven. Number 33 would make the first guy miss and then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Knights squeaked out a win, 27 to 20. Finally, let's give it up for our 2K Sports Player of the Game. Number 33 dominated the game like a true legend. What a performance, and I have no doubt that this isn't the last time he'll showcase his talents. We'll be hearing much more from this guy as time goes on. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. So from all of us at Metro Stadium, the New York Knights get their first win of the season. 
shutting out the Oklahoma City Renegades in the fourth quarter and round to a 27-20 victory. Orlando and Minneapolis comes your way next at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on the SFL Network. This game will be archived in full on YouTube later tonight. And we'll have all the updates at SimulationFL.com. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Cameron Irvine, from the Metro Stadium. The Knights get their first win of the season, 27-20. We'll be right back on the air. This has been a presentation of New York Night Radio and the Simulation Football League.